Now we're doing objective two, being able to graph a system of quadratic inequalities. So now I've got more than one parabola that I have to do some shading on. So um, you may remember doing this with a system of linear equations, and you had to shade one portion, you had to shade another portion, and see all where they were overlapped, and that was what your answer was. So we're doing the same thing here, except for with some parabolas. In the picture, this is a picture of uh, a, a bridge in Shanghai, and you can see kind of that we've got one parabola going one direction, and it's got shaded underneath and a parabola going in another direction and it's shaded underneath and the actual answer the overlap is where they would both be shaded together and that's exactly what we're going to do so hopefully you've got more than one colored pencil or colored whatever you're coloring with because so we need a couple of colors here so when we're graphing uh, a system of quadratic inequality as long as you have some colors it's going to be easy if you don't have colors you could always shade it in different directions whatever so step number one, graph each inequality and shade each region in a different color. Or maybe I shade it horizontally, the other one I shade vertically. Your solution is the overlapping color, the colors that, um, that are on both of the shaded regions. So for example, if I use uh, a yellow plus a blue, it's whatever gets greenish. That's what my answer is going to be. So let's give it a try on this system of inequalities. So on the first one, let's just graph the first one. Pull up my pen. The first one, I'll put a little number one there. It is upwards. Whoops, I made that a solid one. Is that one a solid one? No, it's not. This one is a dashed one. Which direction is this one going to be shaded? Y is greater than, so it's going to be shaded on the inside like so. And this is just the parent function moved down 3. Everything is exactly the same as the parent function. It's just moved down 3. That one should be a piece of cake to graph. Okay, so now let's look at the second one. So the second one, uh, maybe I can pull out a, a negative 2 here. Well, oh yeah, first, this one's going to be upside down. It's solid. It's a... Uh, it's a mustache, and it's less than, so this one's going to be shaded on the inside like so. So let's go ahead and factor this thing. Let's see. I could pull out a negative 2 here. So a negative 2 inside the parentheses. Wait, why don't I just put this in vertex form? That should be pretty easy. Negative 2, x squared. When I factor out a negative 2 here, it's going to be a negative 2x plus a blank. And... I'd have to subtract that same blank, and then here's the plus 2 from the original equation. So I take half of that negative 2, I get 1, square it, I get 1. Did I add 1? No, I didn't. I actually subtracted 2, so I have to add 2 at the end of this. So, this is negative 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 4. So here's my new inequality same inequality just looks a little different with a vertex at 1 4 if I'm gonna do SRT transformations on this the S goes oh I'm scaling it by 2 there's a 2 up front so 2 times Y coordinates I am reflecting it across the X axis mm -hmm. and I am translating it right 1 and up 4 Okay, putting all those things together and finding the appropriate shaded regions like so. So here's the first parabola, number one, where it's the parent function just moved down one, two, three spaces. Which part does that get shaded in? It gets shaded up above. Okay, parabola number two, just using the SRT transformations with the vertex at one, four, and this one being upside down, goes like so. Um, also, I could see right here I have a y-intercept of 2 from the graph and then reflect it across. Which way does this get shaded? It gets shaded down below it. And my answer is the part where they overlap. The thing that's a little bit of a darker shade of purple. Okay, is this kind of oblong shape. Anything in that region would satisfy this system of equations and therefore that's what the solution is. 
All right, got your colored pencils ready. Give those two a try. Should be pretty simple. I gave you very, very easy ones to try to graph. Give that one a try. Pause it and come back and see me. All right, well, let's check this out, shall we? So here's the math on it, the algebra side. The equation number one, inequality number one, it's just essentially the parent function. Um, and it is opening upwards. It's a beard. And since y is greater than, it's going to be shading upwards. Parabola number two. Oh, let's go ahead and graph that thing. So there's parabola number one. It's parent function. It's solid. It's shaded up above. Okay, got that. Now, parabola number two. I just did SRT transformations for it, so it's not being scaled. It is reflecting across the x-axis, and then it is translated up 5. Upside down, so it's mustache. It's dashed, because it's not equal to, and since it's less than, it's shaded down below. So here's the parabola, and I'm going to shade down below, and it's the slightly darker purpley part that's the answer. Anything within this region would satisfy both of those inequalities. All right, well, I hope you had some fun with your crayons, your color pencils, lipstick, whatever. Um, that's uh, the end of objective two, being able to graph a system of inequalities with, uh, you got a couple of parabolas, draw each of the parabolas, shade the appropriate region, and you're just seeing where they overlap, seeing where the colors are shared on all the regions. Okay? Okay.